So in this lesson, we'll create a route that we'll use to update a single block. So to create the route, we'll call the endpoint, the add endpoint, endpoints rather, dot. So now we'll use the patch. So now we are updating. So we'll use the, we'll call the patch. So we'll pass our route. Maybe we can call it update slash. Then we'll, the person will have to put the ID. So we'll call the ID so that the person will pass the ID. So we'll then create the function, maybe update block. And inside this function, we are passing two parameters. So we are passing the ID and it should be in the form of a string. And then the second parameter is the block. And then it should be in the form of our block model. So the block, the one with a capital. So it should be in the form of that model. So we are passing the ID string and then the block over here and we we'll set it equals to our block model. So we'll come down. Then we can update our data width. To update our data, we simply use the find one and update to update the data. So we we'll call our blocks collection. So blocks collection dot find underscore one underscore n underscore update so find one and update then i'll open this so inside the file one and updates we'll pass the id of the block we want to update and then we'll pass the data we want to then update so to pass the id i'll simply call my object over here and inside the object we have the underscore id then we'll pass the object id with this and we have the second parameter and that's the data so we use the dollar set so you put dollar and then you write set to then set the data then the data will set it equals to the block this block the one with smaller case so we'll then copy this block we'll convert it to additional so we'll use block so we'll just write deck and open this deck and inside the deck and we'll pass the block so the block is inside this deck so this will convert it to a python dictionary so this will simply get the block so to get the block with the id you just pass so your block's id is two it will, it will get the block with an id of two and then update that block so once it's updated we can then return a message and inside the message you can have a status of okay then you can have a message of data have been updated so we have data have been updated so let's save this and then go to our browser and then refresh once we refresh we'll get update and then this id over here but first of all let's get a block First, let's get a single block, the block we want to update. So I'll go to all blocks. Then I'll execute the all blocks to get all of my blocks. Then I'll just copy this one. So I'll copy one of it. So let me copy the second one. And then I'll come to my update. So we don't need the whole block, we just need the ID. So we'll go to the get all. Let's execute again. So just copy only the ID over here. So I copy the ID. So once I copy the ID, then I can click on the patch down here. And I click on try out. Then I'll paste the ID over here. So I'll change the title to my demo book. Then the description. This is my new description then the content this so I just call it this is my blogs content then the author will be deal so if I click on execute with this data so if we come down we have data have been updated so if we go to your database so this is the data, my new block. 
but if I refresh, if I go up and then click on this refresh, you see that your title have been changed and then everything concerning that block have been changed. So the data have been updated. So that's how to simple update data with PyMongo. So in the next lesson, we'll look at how to delete a document.